Bitcoin is all over the news lately, and for good reason. The cryptocurrency has seen a meteoric rise in value in recent months, and many people are wondering if it is headed for another bubble. While no one can predict the future of Bitcoin, there are a number of experts who believe that it still has a lot of upside potential. In this video, we will take a look at why Kathy Woods and Kevin O'Leary are bullish on stocks and Bitcoin. But before that make sure to subscribe to us for more videos and tap the bell icon to get notified with every new video from us. So let's dive into the video. As investors continue to look for safety in banks, big oil, and other value sectors, tech stocks have recently suffered. However, some supporters of popular momentum stocks aren't quite ready to give up on them. This is the advice given by two additional titans of growth investing, including Kathy Wood of ARK Invest, one of the more well-known voices on Wall Street and a key supporter of Tesla, who presented their investment thoughts on Thursday. Higher-valued stocks have taken a beating this year. Wood mentioned this during a webcast that CBOE Global Markets was hosting. But the growth for these innovative companies will still be handled properly over time, she added. For the CBOE discussion, Wood spoke alongside Jan Van Eck, whose company just introduced the Buzz ETF that follows stocks popular on social media, and Kevin O'Leary of Shark Tank fame. O'Leary also owns a series of O'Shares ETFs. Wood said it's a positive thing that investors are moving their money into more cyclical sectors, or those that depend on the health of the economy, like airlines and shops. She finds it encouraging to see how much wider the market upswing is becoming. Fears about inflation and bond yields have been particularly prevalent as the economy continues its shaky recovery. However, none of the three fund managers said they were overly concerned that these trends would harm growth stocks. They also emphasized that the rise of zero-commission brokerage firms will help younger individual investors continue to play a significant part in the market. There are a lot of retail investors playing in the market thanks to Robinhood and Coinbase. According to Van Eck, individual investors are more involved. He asserts that investors should place a greater emphasis on businesses with significant competitive advantages, such as those represented by his company's Wide Moat ETF, which invests in stocks of industry leaders including Charles Schwab, Intel, Microsoft, and Amazon. O'Leary agrees that the stock market boom can continue, claiming that the $1.9 trillion in additional stimulus measures represents free money for many investors. He does not, however, believe that cyclical companies can beat tech for very long. Yes, consumers are looking for quality. However, some industries, including airlines, have been irreparably harmed by technology, he claimed. With weekly Zoom calls, I don't need to fly to Dubai as frequently for meetings. O'Leary stated that he is also open to placing some speculative bets in rapidly developing fields that aren't receiving much attention. O'Leary's company, for instance, has stock in MindMed, which is engaged in research and development of safe and effective psychedelic drugs for the treatment of anxiety, depression, and other mental health conditions. Along with investing in genomics-focused ARC ETFs, Wood is also funding cutting-edge healthcare businesses. She also believes that younger investors, many of whom are receiving inheritances from baby boomers, will keep favoring more dynamic industries like robotics and alternative energy. She is therefore not very worried that the current recovery in value equities signals the end of the technological renaissance. Many businesses that catered to short-term investors seeking profits now prioritize stock buybacks and dividends over innovation, according to Wood. That puts them in danger. Additionally, Wood believes that Bitcoin is prepared for prime time, and that prices will rise over the long term as more businesses follow Tesla and Squares lead and embrace crypto-friendly business models. In fact, Wood stated that her funds are primarily betting on cryptocurrencies through the publicly traded Grayscale Bitcoin Trust and that she believes it makes sense for investors to have between 2.5% and 6.5% of their assets in Bitcoin. O'Leary, on the other hand, had previously expressed some skepticism toward Bitcoin. He did, however, claim on Thursday that he is becoming more sure that Bitcoin will gain popularity and that it makes sense to have roughly 3% of one's portfolio in Bitcoin as well as stocks of cryptocurrency miners. Van Eck also said that Coinbase's imminent market debut will be interesting to monitor because, after its direct listing, the company may be valued at $100 billion, dwarfing Nasdaq's current market value of about $24 billion. In light of this, Van Eck anticipates that more significant investment businesses will attempt to profit from Bitcoin or risk being left out. For instance, Fidelit just joined a long list of companies submitting SEC applications to start a cryptocurrency ETF. 
Van Eck predicted that crypto Wall Street will pose a disruptive challenge to conventional banks and institutions. That's all for today's video. Hope you got some value. If so make sure to subscribe to us for more videos and tap the bell icon to get notified with every new video from us. See you in the next video.